Now we are going to study Gauss-Seidel program in C++. You know how to find Gauss-Seidel calculation. So first you are checking whether it is diagonally dominant or not. So if it is not, shuffle the equations and make it as dominant and then you are solving it. Right. So first find whether diagonally dominant. Just keep in mind. Now I am going to the program. This is a program. Hash include IO stream, hash include IO manip and hash include math.h. So the statements in this red, they are the comment statements. Just for identification, I change the color. Now here it is written, say this, arrange systems of linear equations to be solved in diagonally dominant form and form the equation for each unknown and define. Okay, here uh, we are having the equation that is in the question. Question is like that, Gauss, write the gauss seidel program for the equation so that you can find the values for x, y and z. Here the, in the program, the question is given 3x plus 20y minus z is equal to minus 18. 2x minus 3y plus 20 z is equal to 25. 20x plus y minus 2 z is equal to 17. Now it has been arranged to make it diagonally dominant. Now you got the equation values as x, y and z. See this, you got the values. Now come to the program. Hash define. That is for defining something, you are using this statement. We know that. Hash define f1 of x, y, z. That is the x value f2 of x, y, z, that is the y value, and f3 of x, y, z, that is the z value. Then using namespace std. Okay. While learning the program, just ignore this uh, red statements, red, red color statements, because they are just for your knowledge. Okay. Now come to the main section. Uh, the variables declared in float are x0, y0, z0, x1, y1, z1, e1, e2, e3 and e. This e is a tolerable error. That is, uh, you know that you have, you are concluding, you are taking the value or you are writing the value of x, y, z is so and so when the values of x, y, z are similar for the consecutive iterations. Then only you can conclude the work. So, a small adjustment can be made. If the error is more than this particular value, you have to go for the next iteration. If the error is within this value, you can conclude. Okay. For that calculation only, this tolerable error E. And E1, E2, E3. That is the uh, error value of the first variable X1, second variable Y1 and the third variable Z1. Three variables are x0, y0, z0. The initial values, they are 0. And next iteration, x1, y1, z1. Okay. And then this iteration step is equal to 1. Okay. That is the first iteration, second iteration and so on. So when you go, um, while learning this program, just see the solution also. It will be more clear. Now see out set precision. That is, since it is floating point number up to six point, that is after decimal, consider the six numbers as well. Now enter the tolerable error, that is E. That is adjustment error. If the difference is E, within E, you can just ignore and you can conclude. If it is more than the tolerable error, you have to go to the next iteration. That is all. Now uh, see out, count. This you have to, just for printing. And then... While do while statement a loop we are using here do x1 see this first variable first iteration x1 y1 and z1 f1 x0 y0 and z0 we know that the latest value of x y z in the first equation we have given the initial values and for y equation the latest value of x is x1 and y and z are zeros. See so this? Is z1, x1 and y1, they are the latest value for x and y, and z0 is the previous value. Right? So, this is the way. Same how you have done the calculation, same thing you have converted into program. Now, here again, see out step, that is iterations you are writing, first iteration, second iteration, and so on. The step is there. 
and then slash t tabular form table form you have to get okay tab format and then x1 value again tab y1 value and then z1 value this is for printing okay then find the tolerable uh, find the error for each variables e1 consider the first case absolute value of x0 minus x1 if it is more than the tolerable error e you can continue with the next iteration that's it find the second error value find the third error value come to the second next iteration that is step is equal to step plus one if you are carrying on with the next iteration x1 value will be substituted to x0 y1 to y0 and z1 to z0 and the loop will be continued so it will be continued until that is it is checking while if that is while e1 value is greater than e and logical and e2 is greater than e and e3 is greater than e if the difference of the previous value of the variables and the current value of the variable is greater than the tolerable value e you have to continue the loop that is it okay you have to carry on with the iterations when it is less than e you have to print the output that is it print solution is equal to uh, x is equal to x1 y is equal to y1 and z is equal to z1 so this is the final answer and then return zero okay here is the output tolerable error e that we have entered as this one count so printing the heading and then step value you have printed each iteration you are printing the value of x y and z and then each and every time the difference is being calculated and then you can come to the solution here you see these are same okay now you can conclude x is equal to y is equal to and z is equal to okay just how you have done that particular problem same thing i have converted into the program Okay. tolerable value is the adjustment value that is if the tolerable error if the difference is more than the tolerable error the loop should be continued that is iteration should be carried on so if it is less than that particular less than or equal to that particular tolerable error you can conclude okay so you have to tell the system that is program that is when you have to stop or when you have to carry on so that is it for that you have identified the error variable and then you have to find the difference between each variables and you are planning whether to continue or not. That's it. Okay. Hope it is clear for you. Thank you.